Well, allegations of a toxic culture perpetuated by Daniel Andrews have emerged, including one where his office has been accused of not dealing with a bullying allegation properly. In fact, listen to the Premier's response. I wasn't entirely surprised, but to be honest, I'm not here to talk about that person or the events in the other house yesterday. I'm far too busy for that. I'm not sworn in to be a commentator. I'm sworn in to get on and get things done. I tell you, that's year nine girl stuff, isn't it? That person, hardly the way you might expect a Premier to speak about one of his own Labor colleagues. But that was mild compared to what Victorian Treasurer Tim Pallas had to say about the Upper House MP, Kashalia Bargella, after she crossed the floor last week and went public about the bullying inside the Andrews government and indeed claims of the Premier himself being a misogynist. It is worrying for me that she said that and it goes to her state of mind and I hope and I can assure her should she uh, need assistance from the government in any way to help with her state of mind, we will support her in the way through this. The MP across the floor, Bargella, well, she's hit back at the Premier over the weekend, accusing the government of victim blaming for questioning her state of mind and accusing her claims of being a fantasy. Again, just this afternoon, very bravely, she's released another statement, confirming that the Labor Party is moving to expel her and that political parties should, she says, make the laws, not break them. And in a crushing blow for both Daniel Andrews and Anthony Albanese, Kashalia Varghella says in her statement that Labor's hypocrisy, both on bullying allegations and calls for a federal ICAC, don't make sense. I mean, why expel her when she wants to end corruption? Pretty extraordinary stuff, isn't it? Joining me now to discuss these claims and a whole lot more, my Monday panel from Perth broadcaster Jay Marwick and from Brisbane Sky News host Gary Hargrave. Jane, I'll go to you first if I can. Some are saying to me, good Labor people who rang over the weekend, that this might finally be a sense that the toxic culture we're told that sits at the heart of Victorian Labor is finally on its way to being exposed. What do you make of the palace comment that went to her mental oh. health as an explanation oh. as to why she was speaking up? Absolutely terrible. And you'll remember that um, Princess Diana's detractors said the very same thing about her, to discredit her. This woman is made of steely stuff, Peter, um, joining Adam Somnurek, calling for inquiry into the red shirts, um, and much more than that. And it is the lowest blow to call into question someone's mental fitness. And she says after, I think she says something like after four years, certainly these sorts of attacks have taken their toll However, she is incredibly strong and it's interesting you should say that you've been contacted by Labor people because I too have from out of Melbourne and there's, there's great disquiet at the way this is being handled. Yeah, Gary, I mean, yeah. what's interesting is the Labor Party are going to expel her because she's speaking up against corruption and she pointedly says, Anthony Albanese, you want a federal ICAC, yet you're turning a blind eye to what I'm voting for in Victoria, which is cleaning up the Victorian Labor Party. And there's a lot of cleaning up to do there, Peter, and from afar here in Brisbane, we know that. I mean, look, the systemic corruption that exists in Labor governments, state Labor governments around this country, is enormous. We've got it in Queensland. I know we'll probably talk about that. But the, the problem in Victoria is, and, and we're talking the socialist left faction in particular, that these are a bunch of blokes who needed quotas to actually allow mere women into the parliament. They had to be forced. They had to be forced to accept women into their ranks because it really is the boys' club. They try and point to the Liberal Party, but in fact, this is a mob of people who, unless you were related to them or having relations with them, in the past, it was awfully hard, with a number of very notable exceptions, for women to actually get into the Parliament. So these guys are thugs, they're bullies, and they are tough and horrible to other people in the union movement. I mean, the unions are filled with thugs, particularly the left-wing unions. So any wonder if you're going to put left-wing unionists into Parliament, the Parliament's going to be filled with thugs. This is not what true old-fashioned Labor Party people mm -hmm. want. This is, this is woke rubbish and blaming the victim. I think it's astonishing and I hope she goes hard. And we all should support this, this, this member because she's speaking from her heart 
as well as a head and she's standing for stuff. Good on her.